Hey, everybody. Um, we're about to get started. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thanks for finding the link. Um, and uh, we have Neil and Lily and myself here. And um, who's we'll yourself? Oh, I'm Ed Perlman, Lily Perlman, Neil Perlman. <laughs> How's that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Neil's um, setting us up with the with the tech stuff so we can do this. And um, yeah, so um, you're welcome to go check out the concert page where you um, you cl clicked on the link, which was finally there. Sorry about that. Um, and that concert page has bios, so you can see about us and so on. And, um, and in any case, we're just going to dive Right, and what we're going to do today is we're going to play a bunch of tunes that we've written over the years. And because there's a lot of them and we've dug up some we didn't even remember about, there are some that nobody's heard <laughs> and some that are popular. So we hope you enjoy the show. We're going to be playing original tunes and I, um, each of us who wrote the tune is going to say a word about it. We're putting together um, a tune book. Uh, we've threatened to do this for years. We're finally putting together this tune book that's pretty close to finished. And so, um, as you can see on the concert page, I actually put a link. Finally, today is a day you can actually pre-order it if if you're interested in in the book. So, Woo! yeah. <laughs> um, and since we are running the show ourselves, um, we didn't have someone on the other end checking sound. So um, I'm doing sort of a visual meters check here but if you want to type in this in the chat after our first number if there's something particularly i can change the where the mic is if one of our instruments is too loud or whatever if there's something if you, you want to check if you in you don't about. like the piano playing in, in particular. yeah i can leave that would be fine too <laughs> if you wish there was only one fiddle <laughs> <laughs> um yeah yeah so yeah and type into the chat where you're where you're from so we can see that and what temperature it is <laughs> oh yeah um we're gonna start with the tune of neil's yep i'm got where his first tune is called in search of flight and it was written for mom over there because she's always wanted to fly and because her dancing is so up in the air sort of searching for flight so we're going to do a little medley, and that'll go into a tune that I wrote. It's called D is for Dog. And actually, uh, Neil's girlfriend, Katie, put a challenge out asking people to write D minor jigs. And I took it on, and as I was writing it, Luna, who's here, was a little puppy, and she kept, like, jumping up and licking my face. And so... D dog. That's it. And then we'll do a couple of tunes that I wrote. One is called Neil's, um, because <laughs> it's for Neil. And the last one is one I wrote for Jesse that I unearthed that I haven't played <clears throat> out at all. And it's called Jesse's Real. And it's a little bit wild like he is. So <laughs> and the Neil's is a little bit jazzy like he is, so I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, sort of a set of tunes for each other.
like it does so we're all good (laughs) just gonna adjust this so you can see Lily better well I guess no one asked you to leave then (laughs) not yet (laughs) not yet it's still an option (laughs) okay okay (laughs) so we have a lot of tunes on the uh, we've (laughs) written I've written tunes for about 40 years in fact the first one in the book is from 19 81 and the most recent is 2021 so it's 40 years of tunes and there's next three <clears throat> this little set is ones that i wrote and the first one's called after the snow it was written in 1988 after a snow <laughs> and uh it's kind of inspired i think by some tunes i've heard from kip breton um and then i'll go into a tune that's called macbeth it's um a tune that I wrote. I, I was lucky enough to be asked by a director of a black box theater to do uh, to write and perform music for the the play Macbeth by Shakespeare in the, in the Freeport Shakespeare Festival, and he wanted the music to take the place of sets. Basically, it was really interesting uh, production and really exciting to do. So this Trespe Macbeth is was played when Macbeth was um, really trying to when he was feeling manly or hoping to be manly as he de- unraveled and then the third tune is called um what is it called oh u.s regatta it's been recorded by a few people and um published in different pipe books actually it's it was, it was written in 80, 87 when we were visiting South Uist in Scotland. And then um, 10 years later, my brother-in-law, who was a grade one piper, said he really wished it had two more parts. So I wrote two more parts to it. So that's the third tune. And I hope you enjoy After the Snow. <laughs> Thank you. 
Um, well, we were gonna play a tune. Mm-hmm. That we play together. I realize maybe it would have made sense to do a tune of yours, but we're doing one of mine. I mean, we're going to. Do you want to do one of mine? Well, it's a little, a little <laughs> close to change. <laughs> um, um, unless you have one of yours that you immediately want to hop in. But I mean, just one. We could do, we could do like run to fly or something. But <clears throat> right, you're calm. Uh, let's just do this. Okay. Let's just do this. We're gonna play a tune um, from uh, the band that we had called Alba's Edge. Uh, Put out an album about five years ago with that band, and um, this is a tune that I wrote on uh, from that album called "The Sorted Life of Scientists." Um, it's kind of a long, convoluted story about it, but the the nutshell is just that when we were on the road with that band one day, we listened to Bill Bryson's "Short History of Nearly Everything" on audiobook, and there's a lot of really sorted details to the background of important scientific discoveries that have changed the world that I didn't know and was kind of amazed by that are uncovered in that book or I were uncovered for me in that book and uh and so I dedicated this tune to the sordid life of scientists and I'm going to today I'm going to also dedicate it to all the scientists who are getting the vaccine who got the vaccine going for us um so that we can start heading back towards normalcy so, um, this is a combination of some Brazilian samba rhythms with um, the sort of tune structure of a Scottish reel and some uh, harmon harmonic ideas out of klezmer. So, there you go. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you can do that if you like. But um, I'm. I was asked to do a piano solo, but then we decided we were going to play that last tune, which is fairly piano featurey. And I was kind of messing around with this brand new tune that I wrote, written several tunes during the pandemic, and this is the most recent one. It's within the past couple months, and um, doesn't have a name yet, but. Um, everyone in this house thought that I should play it in the concert, so <laughs> I'm just gonna play it, it, and they've started learning it, so no name yet, as several from the pandemic don't yet, but they're going somewhere, and I think they'll make it in the book, too. That's the first anyone uh, who doesn't live with me has heard that tune. It's a keeper. Yep. <clears throat> well, so we're going to play um, a set of a couple of tunes, starting with one that, that I wrote um, on one of the trips to Scotland that I co-lead, uh, where we go to different parts of Scotland and do walking and music, have guests come in and great musicians join us and it, um, in fact on July, July 11th we're going to have an uh, event which has six or seven of those musicians join us for a, an evening uh, or an afternoon really in the states I hope you'll join us for that um, <clears throat> with photos and things from some of these places and one of the places is in North Uist on the Western Isles way out in the west of Scotland and we were walking up this hill, which actually was a 5,000 year old burial cairn. It's a 
really beautiful sight and um, you get to the top and it's a beautiful view of all the water all around. But anyway, this tune just kept going through in my mind the whole time. So it's called, that, named after that burial cairn called Barpad Langash. And then... Um, um, and then, and then we're going to play a tune that I wrote called The Lesser Dane. And <laughs> another dog tune? Another dog tune. I've been slowly realizing it almost is as if I have a thing for dogs. <laughs> Almost. Almost. Um, and I wrote this tune, uh, I think in 2014, and it felt a bit Danish to me, um, but it also felt like it had this character of someone trying to be very Viking tough, but like not having a very easy time of it. Um, and so you can kind of hear these characters in it that are like, I'm really tough. But I'm really scared. <laughs> um, and also, you know, I'm the way that I wrote it in the tune book is that I'm not Danish, so I can't be a great Dane. So this tune is called the Lesser Dane. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
where we can see people clapping. Yeah, here, let me do it again. I love this. So I like clapping. Thank you very much. Hey, everybody. Um, we have one more thing on our set list, but it is a, a long one. Should we do it? Should we? Yes. Yeah? What? Go for it with this course, set? Yeah. yeah. So you just feel like it flew by. The time flew by. I know. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for being here. We're going to do one more set of tunes. Uh, and as I mentioned, all of these tunes we're playing tonight are going to be in that tune book that we've been putting together. And it has little stories about each tune um, by the person that wrote it and um, all the chords that Neil likes to play. And it'll be really, we're really looking forward to making it available. And like I said, and you, having it for ourselves too. Yeah, and having it for, for ourselves. There's tunes that I've heard them play, and I don't know how it goes, and I, now I can look them up. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and you can pre order it um, on paddledoo.com, and that's linked on the Contra page. Yeah. So, um, let's see. So you're going to... We're going to start off with another tune of Lily's that you oh, can yeah. guess what, it, what, what the theme is, what it's about. Oh <laughs> this is the third one tonight. <laughs> yeah. I think all the tunes of yours you played tonight are about dogs. <laughs> yeah. No, there was one that's not. Okay. This one is called... Um, our dog here is named Luna. Um, I wish you could see her. She's oh. really cute. Um, this one's called Luna's Happy at Home. <laughs> <laughs> Luna, come here. There she is. Oh, well, okay. 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 No, she doesn't she want to be on screen. Good. Yeah, she's she a little is. camera shy. Um, <laughs> Spotlight. Yeah, it oh. is. Um, so it's called Luna's Happy at Home. It just is maybe one of the happiest tunes I've written, and she's one of the happiest creatures I've ever known. And it's just about her, like, jaunting around the house happily. And the next tune is called Joe's Fancy, which is one that I wrote while on tour with Party of Three with Neil, which is a contra dance band that we've played with with a drummer named Joe DePaolo. The third member. The third, third of the party. Member, yep. And um, uh, he's really great. And we, I wrote this tune at, the, I think, the Amherst Contra Dance while we were, I would like write tunes between sets while we were on stage. And I wrote this tune, and Joe really liked it, and so I called it Joe's Fancy. Because he is. <clears throat> he is fancy. <laughs> he is. So then we'll finish up with two tunes that I wrote for Lily. One is called Liliana, because that's what her um, Estonian ballet teacher used to call her when she was however age <laughs> of ballet. And then... <laughs> the age of ballet. And then the... Um, the um the last tune is called Lily's Real. It um it's it was written when Lily was ten. The little story behind that is that I used to distribute CDs from Scotland and Atlantic Canada and one of them some of the CDs were from the Rankin family and so I used to be in touch with uh, John Morris Rankin's wife who sent me the CDs and um one time when he was away, Molly Rankin was learning the tune he wrote for her called Molly Rankin and she played it on the piano so I could hear over the phone what it sounded like. It was really nice to hear it. She was 10 at the time. So when Lily was 10 I wrote this tune. It starts off a little bit like that Molly Rankin and goes off somewhere else. So um, I hope you like these these tunes. Yeah, thanks sure. so much for coming thanks and for hanging coming. out. And um, if you happen to have come by because you were interested in this particular concert and didn't know about the rest of the festival, there's a bunch of great stuff happening. You know, Troy McGilvery's playing tomorrow. Yeah, um, tomorrow morning. Uh, well, tomorrow, uh, Jenna Reed and her sister Bethany Reed are going to do a concert. And then at the evening for us, it'll be Troy McGilvery from Cape Breton. And uh, on Sunday, it's uh, Gypsy Fiddle and Klezmer Fiddle are the themes for for that good day, so I hope you enjoy all of that. Yeah. So, Luna's happy at home. <laughs>
everybody. I'm going to allow you. you all to unmute now. If I, where I go here for this. There we allow go. participants to unmute themselves. There oh, we go. Unmute yourselves and you can say all well sorts of you. terrible things. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Splendid. <laughs>